Hey everybody, welcome to Fastware. Today's topic is a perf tool, which is a fantastic performance analysis tool for Linux. In my opinion, it has no rivals. It is completely packed with features and enables you to look at any aspect of your application to analyze its behavior. Now today we'll be looking at two particular features of perf, which are the perf stat and a perf record. Now the former is a performance counter sampler that allows your application to run at full speed, only interrupting it periodically to grab the CPU's performance counter registers. Now the perfstat output is a summary of your application's performance statistics, such as instructions retired, CPU cycles used, cache references and misses, branches executed and mispredicted, and so much more. Now the perf record is a different beast altogether. It records a profile of your running application for a given event counter. This enables you to find functions that consume the most time or which of them have the most branch or cache misses. The opportunities here are endless. And there is more. Now with perf record, you can annotate a selected function, which shows you all the assembly instructions with some juicy additional information which I will share with you in a little bit. Let's get started with perf stat. You can type in perf stat dash h, which will give you the usage of this feature. Now dash d, which we'll be using just for detailed information and dash e for a specific event counter. You can see a list of counters by typing perf list. Now there is plenty here. You can select the hardware counters, hardware cache counters, memory counters, access to cache and memory. There is so much here. There are pages and pages to look through. Now we will be using only the very first few to illustrate how to use this tool. So we will start by typing perfstat dash d. And now here you want to type in the name of your application and the arguments to your application to run. Um, I have something prepared already. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is record. I'm sorry. So here we have perfstat dash d, the name of the application and the arguments. So let's try running it. It runs your application and then in the end it will give you a summary. Now here we can see the summary of what perf thinks about this particular application. It tells you in the first column the numbers, in the second column what these numbers are and in a third, you have some derived statistics from your application. So here we see that we have page faults, cycles. Look at that. We execute 22 billion cycles here to execute this program. Now we have a stalled cycles, which is for both front end and back end. And then we have instructions, branches, branch misses, L1 decache loads, L1 Dcache load misses, LLC loads, and LLC load misses. So LLC stands for last level cache, which in my case is the L3 cache. Now, the stalled front end cycles uh, and stalled back end cycles are a very important statistic to look at. Now, the stalled front end cycles uh, tells you that your application. Your CPU is waiting for your application to feed more instructions into it. So your CPU is stalled and waiting for more instructions to be received. Now the stalled backend cycles is much more nefarious. Well, they're both equally nefarious to be perfectly honest. Now the backend cycle stalls are caused by memory not being ready when instruction needs to be executed. 
So your program stalls, your CPU waits for that data to be fetched from RAM, uh, mostly, I would say from RAM, if it's not available in your L1 or L2 caches or L3 caches in that case. Here, this particular application has an abysmal front-end cycle and back-end cycle stalls. And from derived statistics, you can see that we have 0.34 instructions per cycle. This is, this is just terrible. It's absolutely horrible. Because this particular CPU can execute on the order of about four instructions per cycle. And we're doing one-tenth of that. It is just unbelievable. Now there's some additional information around your L1 decache uh, loads and then L1 decache load misses. And here we have 33.44% of all our requests for memory not being in L1 cache and over 90% not being in L3 cache, which means that all of that goes straight to uh, main memory, which is the slowest access as we already looked at in previous videos. Now, that is all well and good, but we want more detailed information. So what is causing all of this? So let's start with something simple. We look at, we say uh, that we have stalled cycles front end, which is a massive uh, number of cycles stalled. And we want to look at that particular thing. So here where perf record comes into play. What we want to do is type in perf record, sorry, can't type, record dash D, uh, I'm sorry, dash G. Uh, this is a call graph information. So let me put dash H first. So here the perf record dash H gives you um, all the flags available for that. And there's pages of them as well. So the, uh, the things that we are interested, again, is dash G, which is enable call graph recording. And we also have dash E, which again, you can select for what you want to record. Normally, um, I think it records for cycles in a particular instruction, but uh, you can select anything else that you want. So here I have something uh, pre-prepared, patch record. And we said that we have a situation where we want to look at stalled cycles. Yes. So let's copy that stalled front end cycles. And that's what we want to look at. So let's execute our perf record runs again and then in the end it produces a little file so here if i'll type in ls you can see perf.data file which is the most recent recording now to analyze this information that has been recorded perf also provides a perf report so perf report and if you record it with dash G option, you also want to pass dash G here for perf report to know that it was recorded with such option. So here, let's run that. And here we are given the call stack of your application. And we can see right on the top, there is one, one line, one function that dominates over 90% of the time spent and over 90% of front-end cycles stalled is from this one instruction. So if you click on it, you have the option to annotate. And here we drill into the center of the earth and shake our hands with the devil. Here, what we get is the assembly instructions that have been executed. Now, this particular few instructions might look very strange to you. So the move is just moving some data from one register into another. There's nothing specific here. But what you might find strange is the percentages that have been assigned to each of these instructions. That this move 
is less than 1% of total time spent and it's the return that is the most expensive. Now this is a red herring because it's a sampling profiler of your application. And uh, the problem with sampling profilers is that they allow your program to run as fast as possible and interrupt it periodically to look at the call stack and find what registers have been set uh, and what your program is doing. Now, it is not a hundred percent precise. Therefore, some samples might be misattributed to other instructions. This is what's happening here. Because looking at this information, the move, we know that move loading from memory is the thing that is actually the most expensive here. We can look at this by not passing any event counter because that will give us the overall picture. And let's record the profile for this again. Waiting for it to finish. And again, perf report with the dash G. We see exactly the same profile and we can either click enter or hit A key for annotate. So I hit A key and now we can see what exactly is happening. That over almost 97% of the entire program was waiting for this getter item get id it is a ridiculous program i'm sure that's what object oriented programming does to you so i hope that this short introduction to perf stat perf record and perf report has been useful to you and if you find it interesting please subscribe like this video and I'll see you in the next one.